hello guys in the last tutorial i showed you how to create a realistic water views using a light motion app and if you remember we used a wave warp effect and this effect is available for the people who have the active membership of light motion either the monthly subscription or the annual subscription so this is only for the people who have a paid active membership of light motion obviously the people who do not have the active membership can use it just to try it and see the effect but if they try to export it the app will ask them to subscribe to one of their plan like monthly or the annual plan otherwise you can't export you can just see it inside the app but today i am going to show you how you can still create similar animation using the free tools and the free effects which are available inside the Alight motion app for that you should have a knowledge of one tool which is vector drawing i have created another tutorial where i have explained in depth about the vector drawing tool so if you do not know this tool or you are not aware about it how to use it then please check another video the link is inside the description and then it would be easy to follow this tutorial so please do check that video also so let's get started with today's tutorial which is water wave animation using only the free effects and the free tools inside the light motion click on plus button click on element rename it to water waves aspect ratio 1 is to 1 resolution full hd frame rate 60 fps create element click on plus button and then click on the vector drawing to go inside the vector drawing now we are here in the vector drawing it's possible to create a shape like a wave and that's what we want for this tutorial so let's add first the four points to create the rectangle and then we will add more points so that we have a wave shape make sure the cursor is inside here you can check it's a little bit inside the border so just make sure obviously we can adjust the position of the points later on also i will add the first point then on the right hand side add a second point by tapping on the trackpad add the third point now add the fourth point so currently the shape is open these two points are not connected to close the shape like this we need to go inside this option so click on that and click this option now the shape is closed now we need to add more points between already existing these two points so something like this three points additional we need and these all points should be equally distributed if you have watched my vector drawing tutorial then it will be very easy to follow what i am doing so i would recommend please do watch that tutorial so that you can understand what i am doing in this tutorial so let's add additional points by navigating here we want to add a point in between the two points so first point will be here let's add it then on the left hand side one more point On the right hand side one point later we will fine-tune the position so they look equally distributed select the middle point move it to the right so that this small dot and this point are aligned vertically approximately not perfectly but approximately select the other point and just move it a little bit so that it is equally distant from these two points same do for the last point move it towards the left so that it is equally distant from these two points now drag the point down by small distance select the other point drag it also down and make sure the red line is highlighted so it makes sure 
that this point and this point are aligned horizontally instead of having a sharp corner we want to have a smooth curve so we do not want such shape we want a smooth shape like this and for that we need to select this option so it gives you to handle and make the sharp corner smoother so select the point one by one click on this option then I will move here to select the corner points you need to do it for all the points at the top and the last point is near to this point so now all the points have a smooth curve and the handles are enabled so using these handles we will try to make a smooth waveform here select this small square bring it down and it should be horizontal click on the second point or the handle of the second point bring them closer and the depth of this point is not enough uh, the wave is not looking good so let's bring it little down again select the third point or the handle of the third point bring them together and make sure that the handles are horizontal and not at an angle repeat the procedures for the other points also so bring it a little closer now oh, I came out of the edit so select the shape go to the edit points the last point is a little difficult to select so I will use this navigator to select the end point and then click on the handle bring it down make it horizontal bring it close to the point a little bit select this point because we want to have a horizontal alignment between the two points this point and this point click on the back button click on move and transform move the shape towards the right as you can see here the shape is not perfectly aligned and the same case will be on the right hand side but we will correct one position at a time go back click on edit points currently this handle and this handle are linked to each other so if i try to move one handle it will influence the other handle now we want to make them independent of each other to remove the relation between the two handles click on any one of the squares and then we need to deactivate these two options so click on these two options and now when i move the handle it is not affecting the other handle so to make it perfectly aligned with the the point at the bottom just bring it down and then the red line is highlighted in the middle which is like a guide or which is the indication that now it's perfectly vertical let's move the shape towards the left so we can see the right hand side go back click on move and transform and move the shape towards the left go back click on edit points select this corner point click on the handle uncheck these two options and align it perfectly vertical go back click on move and transform bring the shape exactly in the middle so the waveform is ready now we need to add the effects and we need to change the color of the shape but before that let's increase the timeline of the shape to 4 seconds by dragging the right hand side of the shape so yeah around this much go back go to the effects click on add effect then select move and transform 
inside that there is a offset option click on that select cycle right let's check what is happening so as you can see it is having some water wave effect to it click on it go to the effects inside the offset drag this diamond shape at the end completely towards the right and then as the wave was moving with slow to increase the speed increase the offset to around 1900 maybe yeah something around this yeah it's now a little faster and looks better we need to add one more effect to the shape select the shape go to the effects click on add effect and the next effect is also inside the move and transform click on that and select the oscillate effect select standard settings and check so now we have up and down movement also but if you see due to this up and down movement there is a gap and we need to correct this by adjusting the position of the points in the corner so let's do that to edit the position of the points, select shape go to the edit points first move the shape towards the right so that we can see the, the corner points click on edit point move this point to the left select the bottom point now they are aligned move the shape again go back click on edit point select the top point move it towards the right select the bottom point move that point also to the right and let's increase the total height of this shape again go to the move to see the other side go to the edit points click on this point drag it down so they are aligned to the 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 two bottom points are aligned go to the move and transform and bring the shape again back to the center good like that and now check so we do not see any gaps at the corner and also not at the bottom let's change the color of the shape click on color and fill click on this second option move it up this point and this one drag towards the right so it's like darker blue for the first shape copy this layer or duplicate this layer select the second shape go to the color we will use the faint blue color for this so drag this a little bit so it looks a little aqua color go back click away so this is the difference between these two colors we want one wave going right and another wave going left so the topmost layer we will select go to the effects and the offset effect we used cycle right for the first layer so for the second layer we need to select cycle left delete the existing offset go to the add effect again go to the move and transform inside that select the offset and here instead of cycle right now click on cycle left hold this effect and move it before the oscillate now you can see that they are moving in opposite directions again go to the offset 
drag this diamond shape of the keyframe snap it to the end and to have the same speed let's increase the offset value to let's say 1800 approximately and also at the start they are perfectly aligned so we will create the offset here so they are not perfectly aligned something like this then go to the blending and opacity and reduce the blending and opacity to 75 for both of them both of the layers I mean select the blending and opacity for the another layer and reduce it to 75 and let's check the animation so you can see that we created the water waves using all the free tools inside the alight motion so you don't need to use wave or option which is only for the active members so we didn't use this option which is only for the active member without using we can still achieve the same effect so basically it's more work obviously it needs more time to create this effect but at the end it is achievable that's what i wanted to show you guys so if you like this tutorial then please click on the like button subscribe to my channel share it with your friends who are interested in to the motion graphics you can write in the comments what animation you would like to see using alight motion apps thanks for watching this tutorial stay safe and stay healthy